ROP22 is a double channel box receiver. It belongs to the bidirectional extra life system. The device is designed in special way to control lamps and other lighting systems. Receiver control can be implemented by the radio transmitters, a mobile application or wired, by using two local inputs. The receiver independently controls of two connected devices. More than one transmitters could be assigned into one receiver. In order to use the mobile application, it is necessary to install the extra life controller first. The receiver has two inputs for wired control. L and N terminals are for connecting the 230 volts power supply. The receiver has two voltage outputs. IN1 and IN2 inputs enables wired local control. The receiver operates on the of 868 MHz radio frequency. The PROG button allows to manual program of selected functions. And the status LED indicates current status of the device. It indicates status receiving or transmitting. As well as helps during programming operations. Programming the first channel is indicated by blue LED lighting, while the second one in red. The receiver is designed for installation in 60mm boxes. Due to the amount of cabling, it is best to use deepened or pocketed boxes. Connect the power cables to terminals L and N of the receiver. Control circuit connects respectively to the terminal out 1 for channel 1 or out 2 for channel 2 and N terminal. These are two independent outputs, both of them have potential phase signal. Wired control buttons could be connected to terminals IN1 and IN2. Triggering is performed by the phase potential signal. After connecting the basic cabling, switch on the power supply, and check the operation correctness. Radio transmitters, must be assigned to receiver first. In the on, off mode, a short press of the first button, always activates the given channel, then, short press of the second button, deactivates it. This is a dedicated mode, once two same buttons are to control more than one receiver. In the bistable mode, successive short presses on one of the buttons, changes the state of the channel in the sequence, on, off. This is a dedicated mode, once two same buttons are to control more than one receiver. In monostable mode, the given channel is switched on, as long as the button is pressed. Time mode, allows to switch on the channel, for a specified time only. After that, the channel automatically switches off. The time range is from 1 second to 18 hours, regardless of the buttons assigned in time mode for the first channel and the second channel. In order to program the duration time, assign the button in time mode first. For the extra life receivers, each button assigned in time mode, could have own duration time, this provides operation flexibility. For assigning the buttons to the second channel, wait until the status LED lights up as red. The specific buttons, not the whole transmitters, are assigned to extra life receivers. 
This allows, for example, independent control of selected channels by two buttons, and group control by other two buttons of the same transmitter. Receiver allows selective transmitters removal, assigned into the first or second channel, Receiver has the option of factory reset. This erases whole receiver's memory, and all its settings. In order to pair the receiver, the controller must be properly powered. Receivers not paired with any controller before, are automatically found. Test function allows the receiver to be quickly located. Control is possible for both channels just after pairing. Each channel of the receiver could be appropriately named, an icon could be assigned, and other configuration could be performed. Icons are selected from the application library only. The useful function of the receiver, is the possibility of transmitters remote adding using the mobile application. No physical access to the receiver is required. Adding transmitters, must be registered in the controller first. The application allows choosing the operating mode in a convenient way, and for example declaring the switch on time, in the time mode. It is a fast and convenient method of programming transmitters, both at the stage of installation and later use. All transmitters saved into the receiver's memory, can be read into the mobile application. By this, it could be quickly check in which mode transmitters were saved, and selectively remove them from the receiver. System administrator, can freely assign the receiver to selected users. The entire receiver is assigned to the user, not just channels. The ROP21 receiver could be remotely updated by the mobile application. The update process takes about one minute, and is confirmed by a message. The application allows to quick remove the receiver, from the controller's resources. ROP